I'm Rabbi Michael Singer. I hope when you heard the shofar, it brought back wonderful memories, being maybe in the synagogue with your parents or grandparents, or with family and friends. As a little kid, when I first heard the shofar's sound, I was in awe that a simple horn, a ram's horn, or in this case, an ibex horn, could really make such a powerful sound and resonate throughout the synagogue. Not only the sound itself, but the feeling that it gave. Our tradition actually thinks about Rosh Hashanah as Yom Tru'ah. In fact, that's how the Torah refers to it, the day of the sounding of the shofar. So what does the shofar sound mean to you? For some, it means a call to judgment, the community coming together and sounding this shofar to bring God compassionately from strict judgment to mercy. For others, the shofar sound is much more personal. It's like a prayer without words from the heart. Sometimes we can't really say everything we want, and we can't always express ourselves through words. But the sound of the shofar really can be a prayer. The shofar makes four special sounds. Tikiya, which is one long note. Shevarim, which are three notes. Trua, which are nine staccato notes. And finally, Tikiya Gedola, the great Tikiya. Each of the notes, aside from the Tikiya Gedola, should be roughly the same length. So what can this come to teach us? Well, in the beginning, we start, as we always do, as a whole. We're a whole person. We go about our year from moment to moment, time to time, and event to event. Sometimes we act in the best ways, and other times we fall a little bit short. So how do we make that change to be better people? Well, the second note of the shofar is the three notes of the shevarim. The word shevarim means to break. And sometimes we have to break our old habits in order to grow. The trua is nine notes. Those nine notes are actually equivalent to the tikiyah itself, the first note. And sometimes it's an act that we need to do over and over again, a way of changing our behavior. It's not always easy. And the trua is not an easy set of notes to blow. In the end, however, we come back together with a tikiyagidola. We are bigger and we are better than we started out to be. And that's the idea of the shofar. We start in one place, we improve ourselves, and we end a little bit better than we were before. Our tradition thinks of the shofar as an idea of redemption. That the shofar is blown in the transformation of Rosh Hashanah as we announce the new year. And in the end, we also hope for a time when all people in the whole world will live with one another in peace, and the shofar will be sounded, gathering all people together in loving harmony. So I want to wish you a Shana Tova, a Yom Tru'ah of hearing the shofar, the mitzvah of hearing that shofar wherever you may be, here at Temple Beth David, joining us, or wherever synagogue you can go to. The idea is that the shofar itself calls all of us to stand with each other, to stand before God for a peaceful, happy, and healthy new year. L'shana tova. Have a wonderful, sweet new year.